Hello there, here and we are back with Perfect Apocalypse Eve Universe, Imperfect Fortopia. This is chapter 4 of Imperfect Fortopia and uh, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be honest, the, the, there's a little bit of problem with the installation. I don't know why it has happened multiple times, but basically you have to delete like the old files in order to properly access or do some stuff. To, to to gain access to the next chapter, which is like kind of weird. I don't know if it's just me, but uh, yeah, basically what happened is that this chapter 4 is just locked and I cannot access it. Same thing happens when I previously played the game, chapter 3 is locked and yada yada yada. But I guess here we are. And everything is fine now, except that I need like 30 minutes or so to like try to make everything works. Hooray! And I lost all my save files, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> but that's not really important since we don't need to do the previous chapters to... Uh, what do you call it? We don't need to like grillingly go through all the previous chapters to uh, do it. Uh, I just need to like do chapter 3 and this one is unlocked again, which is like, I say, kind of weird. But either way, yes. Oh, okay, there's a few new cast here. I don't know. Who are all of these people behind? I don't know who this is in the front. This is like Noel Sky Kamoka. Okay, I remember. Uh, there's uh, someone mysterious in the background. Either way, there's not much that we know, so let's start playing the game, shall we? Needless truth. No. Oh. A cinematic style opening. This radio is currently broadcasting on an automated, automated system. Oh, very zombie apocalypse stuff, isn't it? Our country is currently under attack by unknown forces. Please do not go outside. If Universe Lab present, <laughs> we are unable to provide support due to, due to the roaming wing creatures. Contact with the states has been lost. The damage is catastrophic and the death toll is estimated to be at least in the hundreds of millions. We have been on the run for so long. Oh yeah, Tomoka. <laughs> that's 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 sad. Two weeks have already passed without finding any hope. Two weeks since that incident, holy shit. Noel Tomoka. You can see like the N and T lighting up. So this is a normal Tamaga chapter. Nope. Nope. I know th that all the stations were still on automatic. I see. Sorry I didn't wake up at all. What are we going to do now? At any moment, no stomach rumble. And anyway, let's go find some food. Yeah. Yeah, there's no point in worrying about it here. Let's start us here and we'll look for food on our own. Yippee. <laughs> we finally found a supermarket. Well, after two weeks, I know they've taken most of it. Oh, I'm starving. It can be help. Anyone are, anyone are all desperate. But we, we have already eaten anything since the day before yesterday. I mean, there's chips, there's soda, there's chips, soda, dirt, sand. <laughs> Even water, only the last bottle we picked up three days ago was a plastic bottle. All that's left here is juice and a few snacks. What's wrong with that? You're at your limits too, aren't you? That That's... Wh what's wrong with juice and snacks? That, that, what? <laughs> Do you want to survive? Anyway, it's not it's not too early to give up. Let's look for a little more. Oh uh oh. Uh oh. Hide behind me. Emma gave a small nod. What would hiding behind you possibly do? It would be better to hide behind one of the shelves or something. But okay. Footsteps are approaching here. <laughs> Hello. 
Is that a fucking rifle? Is that a fucking... <laughs> is that a fucking assault rifle in my magical perfect apocalypse game? <laughs> Don't move. Can put on your one and your pouch behind your head. Done with you too. If you move, I will use magic. A swarthy air fills the area. The young man put his finger on the trigger and puts all his strength into into it. Why? Why are we fighting? Question mark. Giant question mark. <laughs> What's with this sudden fight without any reasons? Max. Uh huh. Oh my god, this this person is so serving, content servant, very amazing. That's enough. Don't stop me, master. These guys are witches, okay? What's wrong with that? Are we the problem? Are we the problem with all this apocalypse thing going on outside? This design it looks so like different from all the rest of the usual game. So just shocking me. And you'll be buried underground. Scythe. Okay. The young man called Max put down his gun. I'm sorry, he's just upset because it's a time like this. So please calm down, okay? No, Lord Herwan. Uh-oh. Who, who are you? Sodomaka asked, and the very gamer. <laughs> Magnificent. Yeah, totally a very... <laughs> uh, it's a very cool way to address someone. You know what? I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a screenshot of this because of how silly <laughs> this is. Very cool. I'm sorry, we didn't introduce ourselves. I'm Charlie. And this handsome boy over here is Max. My name is N Noel. No, look at Tamoka. I am I'm Tamoka. Noel Chen and Tamoka Chen, right? I remember you. I'm gonna quick save. I remember. I've seen you on TV. Oh, I don't know if I have. It was probably an interview we gave after the terrorist attack. Per probably. Well, if you're that famous, you all y'all can be that bad. We're going back to our base now. You want to come with us? Eh, eh? What? Master? Don't worry, don't worry. If you talk to the witch Chan, even they won't touch him. Witch Chan? Eh? Well, follow me anyway. Doo -doo. Come. They went out the front entrance. What? What do we do? At any rate, he doesn't seem to be a bad guy, right? Yeah, let's go. What? R really? The three of us are limited to acting alone. It seems that there are many people at the base, so let's take their word for it. Oh, okay. Yum. I don't know why I have a bad feeling. Yum. Ah, oh, yeah, obviously someone. <laughs> That scares me. Sky went, what the fuck are you doing there? That just scares the shit out of me. This way. Subway, is it? Yep, we are gathering at a subway station. Um, well... Ah, you don't have to worry about me and him, okay? But do we have to worry about the others? Max is much happier than him. Scythe. As Noel tried to follow the four, she sensed a certain presence. This presence, could it be... Presence? Or uh, the one that you feel back then in the schools, like a soul burning or something? A bad presence or a good presence? That's the question. If you turn here and open the door, it's an efficacy zone. The witch is at the cafe and away. You'll be surprised when you see her, won't you? Is it... Uh, is it that... I forget, the one with glasses? Don't worry about what she's saying. There are lots of guys returning from the battlefield with that level. The ba battlefield? Anyway, anyway, let's go. No, I'll make an urge by Max and the others to enter the cafe. Is it you? Hey, hello? Anyone there? 
No reply. Excuse me, is anyone there? Ah, it is you. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, I was just making some tea. This voice? I knew I had a feeling. <laughs> yeah, JD, I forget about your name. You you become a legendary witch status? That's a goal. Hello. <laughs> uh, Witcat, yeah, Witcat, I remember you. Yeah, I'm so glad you made it this far. The world is so late devastated and it must have been hard, huh? J JD? You're alive. Yes, yeah, somehow. The, the way you look... Oh, is this? Sorry, I'm so... I'm sorry to greet you in such a rough outfit. I know it after all. Well, it's called an injury of honor. I was lucky to be alive when I took on the God of Chaos head on. By the way, where are Miles and Emma? Well, if you call yourself lucky, let's just say that they're not lucky, okay? Even them, huh? You guys can rest your minds about this here for a while. Yeti sends a power that resets in JD on one and indicate a dog sleeping behind the door. And apparently all the seeds of hope are still in power. Hmm. E even if we take a break, is that okay? Yeah, don't worry about it. Max and Miss Charlie Pikat serve every, every day and unfortunately have food. All the magic power is being put into cognitive inhibition and maintaining real lifeline, so the angels won't be here either. So, so I guess that's a relief? Yep, at least until one of the god gets revived and then everyone is certainly screwed. Oh yeah, we still have a little more time before the diner is distributed. Why don't you go help out while you're out greeting people? We are going to face each other every day from now on until it's time to fight back. Yeah, I will take your word for it. I can finally eat dinner. Well, then we can turn on their heels. We're coming in. Oh. Eh, eh? The commander would like to speak with you. Scythe, again, you didn't learn it. Anything every day, do you? Come on in. Soldier leader. What an interesting face you have there. Interesting. Look. And <laughs> I'm the fucking cross. <laughs> oh no. If if my suspicion is correct, you're some sort of character with uh, what do you call it? With like patriotic motives. Very evil. Something like that, you know. Hello, JD Green. I'm glad to see you are doing well today. Who is he? You can help by looking at them, can't you? They, they are defeated soldiers. What's your words? Nah, I don't have... You'd, you don't have to blame them. Now let's get down to business. You let the stranger in again, didn't you? I'm not involved in that. I'm literally sitting in a wheelchair inside this building. How am I supposed to let strangers in? <laughs> what the fuck? They just brought the driver in like they always do. What I'm saying is that you could probably do it so they can get in. True. I guess it's the same question as usual. I've told you many times that I can afford to put up such a fine filter, you know. So what else? No, sorry for interrupting. Be careful, I will not allow a cat to enter the dark society. Oh wait, you're referring to Noel, okay. Cats to enter a dark society. In this situation, it's a dark entering cat society, you know? <laughs> Noel's just like, huh? When he, when he said that, the soldiers left the cafe. Uh, are you okay? I'm okay. Where are you guys okay? They are... Apparently they are annoyed that everyone dependent on me. This is totally why I don't like jocks. That is not what I meant. They, 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 they are racist, G. <laughs> Sorry, it's nothing. Uh, anyway, shall we go greet the people? I guess so. Now, before they come again. Whether her talent will flourish or not. Shall we split up and look for the person in need while saying hello? 
Okay, I'll let you know when I find him. And to find someone, the gun. Can we take the gun? Uh, who needs magic when you have a machine gun kiosk? Oh, yeah, get it. Oh, hey, it's you too from back then. Sora is just dying there, it's fine. That's JD magic. <laughs> That's very dead like. Cool. Uh, let's see. I guess I'm gonna do stuff here first. That's gonna get help. Niall! Adamaka! There! It's a kiosk here! Kiosk? Wait, there's a kiosk? Who sells food in the apocalypse? How dare you? That's why they call it Star Sensation. Hi, Noah Chan. Have you finished talking with the witch Chan? Yes, thanks to you. Um, Noel Chan, this kid is funny. Hey, <laughs> do you think so too, Miss Charlie? I could listen to Domaka Chan stories forever. R really? Hey. <laughs> what kind of story did you talk? I was listening to this kid story about a previous life. Their previous life. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your previous life. Oh, wait, Tomoka is a dog as well, at least? Question mark. So that's why they're also very aggressive to Tomoka. Tomoka is a kitty, you know? Hey, I never heard anyone listen to it so happily. Everyone doesn't listen to me, to me much about this story. Apparently, apparently so, even though it's so much more fun. I think we might be similar at heart. Yeah. 100%. Hey, yes. Hey, no, since you're here, will you listen to me too? I'll tell you the whole story this time. N no. Well, uh, I. Here, I have spare chair right here. Hey, wait. Wait, is it? Oh, yeah, it is after you skip. I thought my mouse was like trigger finger. Well, can I listen to you again from the beginning? Okie dokie! <laughs> that word is good. I'm going to use it in my bar and make it popular. I still have to help everyone. No, I ran off. Tomoka is trying to join their source and topic of the previous life. Oh, come on. Tomoka is having fun. Hi, no chan Have you finished your talk with the witch, Chan? Yes, thanks to you. By the way, I just met with the soldiers. You met them? Yes. What the hell are they? Um, it's a long story. Well, they are trying to create an autonomous region as they often do in zombie movies. <laughs> Very cool. Shame on them they are for trying to oppress and control the citizens. Shame on them. We grew up in a place where there was no order, so I think it's it's too much. What? 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 What place do you grow in? I'm sorry. I got too passionate. Uh, I don't care. Thank you for your precious story. And JD told me earlier. Is there anything I can help you with? I think it was necessary for us to get to know each other quite quickly. Wow, that's what she said. Hmm. There are so many. But I'm usually fine on my own. I just need a little help. Uh, okay. Charlie took out a cardboard work filled with bottles. Ah, oh, distributing water. This water is the duration. Can you distribute it to everyone? I'm on it. Now I got her one and wave it lightly. Oh no 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 ma no magic! Then the bottle floated up and flew to the dogs. Wow, you're so awesome. Oh, okay, it's fine. Basically, okay. <laughs> I was like, like, there's a uh, rule to not use magic here. Like Charlie is okay with it, but there's rules or something. Yeah, this much is natural for a witch. I think I can see why the witch is so keen on you. Thanks, you can go to their puppies now. Okay, I'm off. Speaking of which, I was a little curious about your earlier conversation. Oh, the class tell me with anything but my three size on each. Why? 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 I will not ask that. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> um, you said earlier that you were going to use it in your bar and make it go viral. Charlie, do you run a bar? Yes, I do. You've got a good hearing, hearing for that, Nil-chan. Your big ears are not for decoration. 
I usually run a bar on the outskirts of Kamino City. It's surprisingly thriving. Wow, that's great. Is that when you met Max? No, I met him a long time ago. We'll talk about it another time. So he's working for us now and he's a popular. All of our customers come here for him. Wow. That, that That's a popular. Is she so popular? Is it his skill as a bartender? No, no, it's simply his face. Face? Mm-hmm, don't you get it? I say it this much. My bar is a gay bar. <laughs> Figures, I was like, yeah. Mm. I was like counting down in my, uh, in our, my, well, in, in my mind, how long does it took for the revelations? Gay bar? I cannot believe this. I never heard of gay people before. He's straight, but I hire him for higher salary. Thanks to him, business is booming, and thanks, and thank Doc for Max. Sorry to hear that, Max. <laughs> hey, money is money. Yeah, he seems to be enjoying his work, huh? Take your light, lights barely keeps the light on. This is actually just kind of right. It sucks, doesn't it? Is this really all they have in stock? That's rude. I usually buy my newspaper here, and they have a good selection. So you mean they've already taken everything, or you see all that? Yeah, it's been two weeks, so it's inevitable. Most of what was left went to rationing. The only thing I'm afraid to take is rolled up dough bread that no one will ever read in a bag of pastry. Doublets aren't much of a way to pass the time. It doesn't seem to like that kind of thing. Oh, you notice it after all. It's not fun to read those things, and no one will be happy. I think so, too. Instead of chasing celebrities for scandal, they should be chasing my ass. Why? <laughs> That will change the meaning of the word. But no one's going to lose anything, including me. Uh, the sermon is terrible because they are much, mostly turning to rationing. I don't see what good it will do to have a cash register under the current circumstances. And it doesn't help. Eh? But now that we don't even have the cash, re cash register, we can use it as a weapon. Okay, true. Oh, weapon? How in the world will it or something? No, no, if you're going to swing it around, it's faster to punch it yourself. What? Throw it like a dodgeball. I don't think we'll be able to beat them, but we could surprise them and then run away, right? No, we'll rise and freeze. Oh, dog, is it possible that you can hold anything heavier than chopsticks now, Chan? Yes. I don't think that's the physical meaning of that being able to hold something heavier than chopsticks. Oh my dog, you're so cute. I don't hate those cuties like this. If I were a young puppy boy living today, I will never leave you alone. You are very powerful, Miss Charlie. Oh, that's it. That's what people say to me all the time. I'm aware of it, but I can't believe I'm that strong too much. Max, he treats me like a monster. He's a rude little lady. Hmm. Charlie's all alone and angry. We had magic. Who will be stronger, Windy or Miss Charlie? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> why are you asking that? No, let's just say the scallops is just scrap metal. Oh wait, you are one part with a chaos kiosk. Tomoka is trying. <laughs> no, no, do not talk to Mo to Tomoka at all. Fix save again, just in case. Shall we also help Genie? No, but her pound the doorknob. Don't do that. Ma Max? I'll guess what you're thinking right now. I can use magic too and maybe I can help her, something like this. Sure, you're a witch, but even I can tell you you're a small fish compared to Jahidi. If you go there, you'll be in the way on the contrary. Yes, you're right. Is something wrong? No, I just thought you were surprisingly understanding. I see. Then send out, you and I don't have anywhere else to go. I'll keep that in mind, Max. Huh. Max turned away and resumed cleaning his gun. Now I look through the door and wait. Okay. I just double click this, that's why. That's why it's kinda weird. I remember JD's suggestion. Um. What's more? I'm not very good at talking. I'm sorry. So what can I do for you? Um, is there anything I can help you with? Did JD tell you that? Um, well, yes. 
That little brat, mind your own business. Alright, wait a minute. Waiting. <laughs> a few months later, Max brought a card full of blanks from the cafe. Go share with anyone who can move and replace the blankets soiled with blood and stuff. Replacing blankets, I understand. Noel then took out her wand. What the hell are you doing? Don't worry, I can easily carry something that light. And Noel with her wand. The blanket rose into the air and flew to their places. And... What? Collect dirty blankets. Uh-oh. Well, I'm not ready for that exten extensive simultaneous magic yet. Size. And I'll get it. Now let's put up with, their, with the other dogs and retrieve the salt blanket. Cool. <laughs> very, very epic. Sorry for getting your hopes up. No, I don't care. Next time, do it right. Okay. A sign of Jedi in the cafe. Um, what's more? I'm not very good at talking. I'm sorry. So what can I do for you? Um, is there anything I can help you with? Did Jedi tell you that? Didn't we already do this? Yeah, we already did this. Coding error? Probably. Is this, is this new or not? Uh, okay, this is new. Oh, by the way, I have one question. Sorry for again. You don't mind me asking. Say it. About Miss Charlie, whom you mentioned as your master. What is your relationship between the two of you? Of all people, that? I'm just curious so you don't have to force me to answer. Benefactor, I'll just say. Benefactor? Yeah. You'll have to figure out for yourself what, it, what that means. Because I have no obligation to tell you anymore. That's true, I'll keep my question to myself. There's one thing I can tell you about him. What? Well, by the looks of you, it's impossible. Do not ever make an enemy of him. <laughs> Why? Even if you could ma use magic, you will never win. Max ran away and resumed cleaning his gun. Even if you could use magic? No, I'll tilt her head. Max is taking care of the guns. The carefully polished barrel of the guns glow dully. That's... Don't touch. Oh, dog, I'm sorry. I think it was well cared for. You take very good care of it. You know anything about guns? You know anything about guns, Noel? No, I don't know much about them. But even a layman can understand it if it's so polished. You talk like you know it all. You don't even know what it says. Okay, I thought like Noel is secretly a, a gun... A fan? Fanatics? Maniac? Or something? Yes, I don't know. But I can know from now on. May I listen to you? No, you can't get anything out of asking me about that. I don't even have the right to talk about it. And yet you still want to step in with your feet in the dirt. I'm sorry, that was a little too rude. You just have to understand. There are so many things in the world that are better off not knowing. You're living the good life though, so you probably didn't know. I know better that, than anyone that. Some things are better not to know. No matter in muffled voice that no one could hear. What do you mean, Noel? Very interesting. The gun seems to be well taken care of. Stop double clicking stuff. Okay, quick save. Uh, recording break. I'm gonna cut the recording here a bit and then immediately return because, you know, just in case the file gets corrupted. Okay, that should be fine and nothing should go wrong. Sarah seems to be having nightmares all the time. A puppy walk up from the front with an arm full of supplies. Are you okay? I know she'll hold it. Will it be okay? P. Then a puppy trip over. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. Sophie. Ah! What? Okay. Now I took out her one and let the puppy and the supplies fly away with the wind. What? We will. Confused. P. 
Yeah, I managed to get there in time. We <laughs> you have no legs. <laughs> now I'll slowly lower the puppy and supplies to the ground. Aw. Are you okay? P thanks. Who are you? I'm Noel. I've never heard of you. I'm sure Max and Miss Cheryl brought you back again. I'm Safi. Hey, say hello to. Okay. That's Safi's urging. The puppy shook snow partially and gingerly. This little puppy is. Her name is Fee. She's a puppy I used to take care of at work. I I see. I'm looking forward to working with you from now on, Fee. Fee also smelled back shyly. And it must have been hard to get here. Yeah, really. We'll be safe here, so take your time. Says so this by your friend? Two of them carried him though. Yes, he hasn't woken up for a long time now. He hasn't woke wake up. I guess he's in a coma. How long has it been? Two weeks now. Yeah. T two weeks? I mean, coma is a pretty long thing. No way, he didn't even get an IV. Is this boy a really living thing? That's a good question. What can I say? Sarah is, well, a little bit special. There seems to be some circus center, so I'm not going to pry. Anyway, nice to meet you from now on. Okay. Sophie, what kind of work did she do? As you may have guessed, somehow I was a nurse at a big hospital. I also met Fee in the course of treating her. Oh, I see. In case you are wondering, I'm also a licensed pharmacist, so I'm in charge of all the pharmac pharmaceuticals here. A pharmacist license too? That's amazing! Well, it's one of the few things I'm proud of. But a newcomer is almost useless in a situation like this. My license is useless. She looks at Sophie with a sad face. Now I'm sure there are even people who are safe thanks to you. Even Fee, didn't she escape this far because of your presence, Sophie? Oh. That may be true, but... I'll never say a thing that you're useless. We are what we are because of you... If, of your nurses. <laughs> Fee not in agreement with Noel. Fee is, Fee is so nice. I guess it's getting tired of living here and feeling weak. Thank you, Noel. I'm not going to be discouraged yet. For it's her sake, too. Sophie replied, holding Fee by the shoulders. Yeah, that's the spirit. Oh, it's nothing, V. That girl, why did she go to such lengths with me soon after we met? That figure, where have I seen her before? Interesting, isn't it? Uh, the Sophie and Fee were from Chapter 3. Where Miles saved him. It's a wonder. I can't believe he hasn't eaten or drank in two weeks and he's stable except for the swinging. I've never heard of such a case before. Sarah is kind of an existence that can be in inferred by the common sense of a dox. Is there some circumstances that make it hard to say? Well, I'm not sure I shall talk about all this in a place where so many people are present. Um, I don't think I should ask since I said old and pry. But can I ask you one question? If it seems okay to answer. Is he really a dog? He is a dog, probably. <laughs> the, the phrase like, mm hmm. Probably. Did they skip time? No, it's just... Sarah seems to be having nightmares all the time. Sophie's organizing her medical supplies. Now I saw the third book nearby Fee. Oh, dog. Fee, do you like to read? Yeah. But not simply. Um, you look at so happy. Can I ask you to keep her company for a little while? Yes, of course. Well, what kind of books do you like, Fee? Fee is looking puzzled and stumped. Oh. Uh-huh. Fee is mother the and she's trying to communicate something with her body language. Huh? Ah, uh, you didn't know that yet. Fee can uh, speak. I'm sorry. I should have realized that earlier. Fee's blabbergasted impatience. What, what, what does it mean? 
Well, well, if you say she's fine, don't worry about it. But it's okay, she says she doesn't care. She is proudly puffing her chest out. Mm -hmm. See, it's a I'm strong face. We're not strongly in an agreement with Safi. I'm sorry I made you feel uncomfortable. Thank you, Fee. Fee taking her spot with a big smile. Fee's good at reading a third book. She smiled when she noticed Noel. No, it's not in reply. Okay, cool. And this should be less Arya, isn't it? The man stands in front of countless chains. Can we... Okay, so this is two different entity. Excuse me. Ah. What a kid. Go over here. I'll be here from today, so if I can say hello. I don't know. Get the hell away from me. Uh. Just. I'm sorry, but I don't help people in here. Shut the fuck up. Then bring me some booze and some knobs. Ooh, okay. The booze? That stuff will kill a dog if I drink it. What? Who's talking? What a little shit. You're a doctor or something. There are no drugs or cigarettes in this shit hole, so the only thing left is to drink. I just wanted to try one before I day, so go go get me one. I don't need anything else. Don't talk to me until you find it. But, but, but. If I say I don't want it, I don't want it. Bring it to me quickly. Oh shit, that pisses me off. I remember that little shit. That little shit flutters all over the place. Oh fuck. The man kicked the bench. I guess I'd be better than me. No, I'll have to place so as not to provoke the man. Interesting. Well, what's about the green chains then? The man stands in front of Constantine. Okay, same thing. Same thing, same thing. We can skip it. One hour later. Half, I guess that's enough. Uh, what, Tamaga? Noel! Oh, Tamaga? Have you finished greeting everyone? Yep, I haven't met some of them yet, but I got to greet them properly. I'm glad to hear that. Hey guys, time for rationing! Please line up two lines as usual. Looks like it's just about time for dinner. Oh, I'm so hungry. I have there are some supplies left when Sarah wakes up. Hey, he might just eat all by himself. It, by himself? By himself? Well, let's go. Okay! It didn't take long after we arrived at the shelter. By the time we were at Holidays with Sophie and the others. Five days later. <laughs> so, guys, I'm going to go look for supplies today, okay? Please don't, please don't get hurt. Uh huh. The survivors store their thugs to them. Holy, we've been doing this for almost three weeks now. It's time to stop doing it. It's time to stop doing it. What? Oh, you're so embarrassed, huh? Scythe. Oh, doing this like <laughs> the meet and greet before going outside. Well, well, it means you're carrying everyone's expectations. Mm hmm. I really wish you could help too. It's okay, it's okay, you have to get used to life here first. I just remembered, Noel Tomoka and JD... Noel Tomoka. JD have a message for you. Eh? JD have? If you are available, come see me apparently. What does she want? I wonder if she will ask for something again. Oh. Well, I guess we better get going. Okay, take care. Charlie makes his appearance in the darkness of the corridor as survivors watch them go. The same time survivors return to their places. So shall we head over to JD place to cough? Okay. What's with the small cough? Is that, is that important? Maybe it's important, who knows? Hey, uh, you're here. So let's talk. Well, we don't be... Don't be in such a hurry. You know, angels can sense this place. How about a cup of tea before we get down to business? Uh, can I have some? It's not a fantasy, but if you don't mind. Since we are here, let's have it, shall we? Okay, I'll take it. 
The sense of liquid being poured can be heard from the back. Now drink up. It's warm. It's been five days since you've been here. Are you doing well? Yes, thanks to you. Cough. Cough? You seems to have been using a lot of magic. Are you okay? Okay, you mean what? You seem to be coughing a bit. I'm just worried about your health. I don't mean anything else. I'm just wondering if you're getting sick from too much magic. Ah, uh, yeah, that makes sense. There's no ventilation around here and the air is stagnant, so it's even more so. Let's see, I feel a little tired easily. I've been exposed to extreme conditions for a long time now, so maybe I'm getting tired. I see. Ew, thanks for tea. Why are you doing it fast? Take your time, no? Did you take the mug cup to the back? Now let's get down to business. Do you guys know why the gods want to destroy us? Is it because, as you told us before, there's a breakdown in the world? 50 points, I guess. Well, I had to deliberately keep it out under wraps for a lot of reasons. You know, people probably don't know this, but the cat people are the servants of Cosmos. <laughs> what? Uh, 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 what? What in the world are you talking about? A race that was created by the gods of Cosmos and makes magic its living. That is a cat. Literally, servant of Cosmos, right? Uh, really? I've never heard of them before either. I bet. I only found out about it when I became Seraphim. But cats are free, and if anything, they are servant of chaos? Interesting. Well, next I want you to remember the god of chaos and the god of cosmos. What did they look like? What did they look like? God of cosmos looks like a cat. God of chaos looks like a dog. As I recall, the god of cosmos looked like a cat. Uh-huh. The god of chaos looked more like a dog. That means... The gods made us in their own image, they come and fear the and the enable it too. The dark people are the creatures of the god of chaos, the servant of chaos to make your living by science. But, but what does that have to do with why we are being destroyed? Much. Over the years, the cat and the dog get mixed up. The best examples are the magic using dogs like you and me, and the science using cats like us. But it's essentially like Cosmos and Chaos are not and cannot be allowed to mix. We have incurred the wrath of the gods, and now judgment is finally coming. Oh, okay, so it's not about the vault. Interesting. But this started in older times, didn't it? It has nothing to do with the world coming apart at the breakdown, does it? Have you ever gotten that it happened just recently? Why do you guys think you were be able to stop me and Coruscant of the new world? It's because dogs and cats join forces. Ah. Yes, that puppy. Olive Higgins has reconciled dog and cat. Ah, Olive is mentioned. Let's go. That thing was too fatal. In fact, since today, there has been a series of major events that have taken the world by storm, haven't they? Oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. The reconciliation consistent of dust and cats, the rise of the cornerstone of the new world and the breakdown that was born in the world. Because of all this is the collapse of the world's balance due to the mixing of chaos and cosmos. Chaos and cosmos are two sides of the same coin, and the gods who do not approve mixing will not have missed it. So the gods, the gods are racist. Got it. But the angels sent in, including myself, were all turned back. And now at last, the gods have come out directly. What on earth do you want me to do by talking to trouble to call us out and say, say, us such, a thing, say, say such a thing to us? Possibility. It's not just dogs and cats, even our species celebrate magic and sense now, don't they? We are already beginning to devi deviate from the rule of the gods. They are afraid of our evolution that will take both. Cosmos and chaos in its hands and even absence the balance of the world. 
And I'm sure that you can go, guys can go beyond the rule of the gods. Eh? eh? It's so grandiose to suddenly say something like that. It's a situation like this, I could be arrested the next moment by those who get in the way of me. It's that as long as Sorry can move, it's you who will defeat the gods, Noel. Uh, what? What? Let me put it simply, your magic is not ordinary. Call it a miracle, the sense of that magic is life. Life? I have come to one conclusion with my knowledge as a seraphim. What you are doing, so to speak, is in the realm of the gods. If you master it, you can even conversely create life from magic power. You are very inconvenient for the gods who want to destroy everything and return it to nothing. What, what, what can Noel do again? I, as far as I remember, Noel can, like, make win. And that's all. Ah. Him. What? What? Him, are we talking about Vault? Is Vault really that important to this whole god fighting? It'll be a shame if your power could revive him. The singularity of the world whom they want to trouble off, sitting away by literally dismembering his soul into endless pieces. Oh, no, me? Yes, you of all people. So you're saying no can handle this situation? Yes, but power comes at price, and you can even fight properly at this point. Eh? What do you mean? Well, I guess it's not just a side effect, but a cost. You are converting your very existence into magical power. Ah. W what? I thought I understood what your question earlier meant. I'm using myself, that is my life as magic field. Ah, just like... Just like that. I forget the name of that character. The pink one? The, the pink cat? Uh, the, the pink cat with mouse. I forgot. When they were fighting back then. You mean... Exactly. Thanks for understanding so quickly. Your soul and body will have been significantly weakened since the day you were able to use magic. Then, then now I shouldn't be using magic anymore? Normally, yes. But here I am, a servant, all but a former one, you know. I hope you don't un underestimate it too much. Of course, I know how to overcome it. So if she learns that... So I can ignore its disadvantage and use the magic control of life? That's what I me mean. That's why you'll have to take my class since tomorrow to learn it. As long as our snapping are our, our best assets. Will I beat gods? Well, for now, you can take the rest of the day off. Anyway, let's rest now. Okay. Um, cough. I wonder if there anything we can do. Noel? Cough, sorry, cough. Are you okay? Yeah, I, I don't think she is. Cough, cough, eh. No Noel? What's wrong, Cole? Cough, cough, eh. Noelle's face has turned blue and she is coughing and breathing at a tremendous rate. Well, I sudden. Converting your very existence into magical power. This is that kind of thing. Tom again immediately came to the to himself. Anyway, I have to call Sophie. Sophie! Sophie! Footsteps can be heard from over there. Hey, what's going on all, all of a sudden? <gasps> ah! Uh huh. Help me, Noelle is. Eh, huh? Get out of the way! Savi pushes Tomoka out of the way and holds Noel in her arms. She's had a very thing for an asthma attack. P, first aid kit, water and suction pills. Peanut did and ran. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh. Alright, it'll all be over in no time with the proper care. Savi said and patted Noel's back while she laid on, her, on the blanket and put her in the recovery position. In time like this, we have to be firm around her and reassure Noel. Huh, huh, uh, what? P came running back with the first aid kit. Thanks, V. Savi gives Noel a slow drink of water while quieting her, quieting her down. It's okay, Noel, you're okay. Here, take a slow breath. Savi lets Noel inhale something. Five minutes later. Huff, huff. <laughs> the good scene. She's starting to calm down. Tomaka, can you do me a favor? That's my tablet, she'll be at Miss Charlie. Go get him. 
Gotcha. I have to get a pills. Miss Charlie? Yeah, okay. I haven't seen a sign sign of him waking up at all. I don't ended up what Mel said, but I wonder if he's like when you wake up. Ugh, Emma. He up muttering the name Emma. Oh yeah, Emma. Who is it? Well, I feel like I hadn't heard anything about Adaria yet. Is it okay to talk about it? There's no one to stop me, I guess. It's fine. Let's see, Emma is Sora's little sister, is that right? What do you mean? It sounds complicated again. Um yeah, it's kinda of hard to talk about. Anyway, she's very important, Sora. But you know, a few weeks ago on the first day of this incident, a lot happened and we had to break up. I see. Yeah, we don't know if Emma is still alive. Sora probably has always regretted the way she left her. Yeah, totally. Because we didn't discuss it probably out of the blue and he wasn't convinced. So even now when he's not conscious, it's like he's having nightmares. Parting is hard, isn't it? I'm still a new nurse myself, but I understand a little. I hope this strategy is over soon. By the way, he's an Akita dog, right? Um, yeah, maybe. He has an unusual head, head hair color for that, <laughs> yeah. Is he dying it? N nope, it's probably natural hair, maybe. Natural hair? That's an unbelievable color on sure he head hair. I wonder if it's some kind of disease. I've seen quite a few cases of stress or illness changing hair color, but I've never seen just head hair color change. Overall, I said and done, he might want have to have a checkup. I I don't think it's a disease. Oh, why? It's normal for Sora, I mean. Well, he was just born that way. Yes, yes, I some hairless thing because of the color of his head hair. It shall be seen as personality, not a disease. I'm an unfit nurse. Uh-uh, no, uh, no, it's not. It's really not a disease, what can I say? Is that he's a creature like that, or that he has a bloodline like that, or that he was made that way? It's okay, you don't have to defend me. I'm new, I have a lot to learn. Thank you, Tamaka, for reminding me. Oh, even though it really, it's really different. Oh, misclick. I want to click sorry again. Sorry, I keep having nightmares. But by the way, which hospital do you work at, Savi? Oh, are you curious? Let's see, where do you think I work? Oh, um, um, let's see. Was it hard to get a no hint? Okay, big hint. The place is at Big Place on the outskirts of Covenant City. Ah, uh, I get it. What's your hospital? Hey, correct answer. You get it, if I should have given you a smaller hint. You really work there? Safi, you're amazing. Oh, thanks. Well, as I've said many times, I'm still new. But even though you're new, you're amazing. Um, I'm glad to hear that. Maybe I'll have a check up at the hospital one of these days. Oh, is there something wrong with you? Uh, not, no, not really. There's something... There's there's a lot of things wrong, City Tomoka. I was wondering if they could give me a cat makeover. Maybe? Cat? That's why? I guess you see I'm a cat, right? So I thought I should get my whiskers and tail and stuff fixed properly. Are you serious? What do you mean by serious? You should see a psychometric or psychiatric doctor first. Ah. Even you say things like that. If you just have a thing for cats, I still be tempted to suggest that by the looks of it. Or rather, is that what you've been told by someone else beside me? Eh? Yeah, everyone at school. Oh, Doc. Sophie glanced at Sora and Noel. I think they are also. No, 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 and some. Sorry, my precious friends don't talk like that. Aw. Oh my god, it's fine. You're a great cat. Everyone listens to my problems. I see. That's a relief then. Savi's so looking at Noel. He's reading a book. Hi. What book are you reading today? Feverly shot the the cover of the book. This is. The words Mouse in Wonderland are printed on the. Oh, along with an illustration of a femur kind hat. A mouse book? He wants to say, Do you know? Hey, yeah, of course I know. Because the book was written by a friend of Miles. Phil looks at Tomoka with a curious look on her face. Actually, Miles is, isn't just in the book, he's right here. Huh? 
And Mas, my dear, hey, hey. Huh? He looks at Damaga suspiciously. Your eyes, you don't believe me. It's true, I'm not lying. Pits on something and gives Damaga a pitying look. <laughs> oh my god. Uh oh, what's with that eyes? Uh, she definitely doesn't believe me. I should let it be too. Uh huh. She has to twinkle when she hears that. Oh. Hey, are you curious what kind of books I read? She shakes her head vigorously. Oh, wait, BRB, there's someone. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I was just eating a little bit. So, yeah, were we? Like that book. I'll read anything that has to do with cats. Huh. I guess I recently read a book about cat habits. He doesn't seem very interested, bro. Bro. And hey, I also read a book about drawing. Uh huh. Now she looks interested. Cool. Hey, now you're curious. Fia for Tamaka, dirty sketchbook and pen. Can I draw? Of course you can. Okay, sure. Let's go. Drawing time. Tamaka runs the pen with a light paw. Soon one art was drawn. Are we, are we going to be shown it? Uh, how about? I do feel like a cat hole. You look so happy. Hey, thank goodness. Oh, okay, that all ends well. I... Oh, what the fuck? Uh, sometimes the design is like just like this, and then there's this. Hey, hey, what's going on behind this chain? I think it's just a normal continuation of the platform. Unless that cat has some funny tricks up her sleeve. I wonder why they're separated by chain. Why they're separated by chains? I prefer that it's a physical issue. She's in a wheelchair with five discomfort just for the sake of it, and she's awake for 20 hours, 24 hours straight. Holy! I can help with this much. If she dies, we'll have no choice. 24 hours. JD, I really hope it's okay. If not, well then she have sounded off earlier. I don't think you need to worry too much about that. I doubt it. Also, you can go beyond this. It's protected like there's a transparent wall. I still don't think I'm going to go, no matter what though. Do you think the words will expand mo more once JD string is restored? If you know each other, will you know? I don't know, I'm sorry. I don't even have a talent for magic. You're not even good at magic. You love cats so much, but you've been wonderfully abandoned by God. <laughs> wow. The God is still trying to kill me now, hey, <laughs> yeah. Nah, I think they probably doesn't care about you at, at heart. Uh oh. Um, okay, cool. I, I, I'm not sure if that's reassuring or just <laughs> bad. Uh, hi, uh, I'm Arius. Did you forget my name? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. It's okay, don't mind. I was just having some free time. What can I do for you? Nobody just happened to be over here. I'm helping Sophie right now. You are? Helping? I'm terribly worried. Can you do it right? I can do it. Probably. Okay, cool. Oh, you're still here. Shouldn't you go to Sophie's as soon as possible instead of laughing around? Oh, but it doesn't look like there's any hurry. There is a hurry, you you fool. So I think you're not good like that. That's why Hajika didn't disrespect you. Uh-oh. I don't want to sound harsh, but you're just an incompetent psycho. Whoa! So you should at least be proactive. Uh, the teachers always say to me like that too. Oh my, I think all teachers are a bunch of jerks, but there are some teachers who get it right. Wow. Which teacher? Almost all of them. It's already amazing universe, isn't it kind of talent? I think you should think about making the most of it for something else. Can you think of anything? Even if you say that, I don't know. What is... Oh, Iris is starting off into the distance. Okay, Iris. There's someone crying in there. <laughs> Who is this? What is this? I was surprised when I came here, but I guess Kata can flee with... A lot. I guess somehow. Well, each cat has his own reason for coming here. Some of them withdrew after losing the flag on Judgment Day, others were absent that day. But all the main witch were killed. Nickel didn't want it. I'm sorry to say, but we were toothless. I was too busy running away. Oh my dogs, so then the Midans and Whiskers save us before. The witch and family twins were in the front lines, leading the witches, which is in battle. Only even the ruler of Hell can win against the god of Genesis. 
Ah, uh, okay. That's that's sad. When we realized we had no choice of winning and had pulled out, they bought something for us. Ah, oh, didn't you say it with my own eyes, but you probably did. I wonder if there's a solution yet. No, I have no idea. Jay seems to have an idea, but apparently it's a secret. Jay is not going to let us cafe in in cafe, except Max, who are escorting her and the military guys. You guys seems to get in special specialty, though. Well, then just can special treatments. Angel can come here while she's alive, so let's take it easy. Uh, okay. Hey, I've, been, I've always wondered about the demon. Can I ask? Well, as far as I can tell, it's okay. R really? Let's see, I couldn't ask anyone for a long time. What's the difference between an angel and a demon? This may sound painful if I say this, but they both look like a monster to me. Oh, you mean like that? The answer is quite simple. Born in heaven or born in hell? Born in heaven or born in hell? It means literally what it says. Angels are born either by being created by God or by the transmigration of the souls of heaven. On the contrary, demons are born from the flames of hell or the souls of hell are transformed over a long period of time. Hum? Hey, hey, hey. I think demons were born from Bapaomet. <laughs> Bapaomet? No. I don't know who told you that, but Bapaomet is not a demon. Rather, it's supposed to be a god given the role of control the demons of hell obey. Then what the hell is a demon? I still don't know what the details, but a most popular theory is that it's a minion of being who defied God a long time ago. In fairy tales, it is said that something was sealed up at the abyss of the world and the fire that leaked out turned into hell. Well, it's all just a theory, but we don't know anything about the origin of hell because it hasn't been explained yet. Ah, I see. It, it's so scary. Rumor has it that the witch and family knows all about it because they have a contract with Baphomet, but they don't want to talk a bit about it at all. I'm sure they're being kept quiet by Baphomet of all people. Adrian is like Mac. I wonder how JD got here. Ah, oh, that guy. That was the day after Doomsday, I think. When we were defeated around dawn, Miss Charlie has already made this place a refugee. A few more days passed from here, and Charlie came back with a supplies on her on his back. I remember he saying he picked her up near the border of Common Woods and come out of town. I see. Luckily, the bleeding stopped, but it was such a serious injury that everyone was in a frenzy. Normally, the injury would have killed her long ago due to excessive blood loss, but everyone was surprised that she was still breathing. Yeah, her legs and arms were gone and she was blind. I guess it has something to do with the fact that she was a seraphim. Huh? Seraphim? Uh, no, it's nothing. Tomoka, you just kind of... <laughs> it's just a solely... Solely low kui, what? Um, well, okay. Then she woke up after two days and was awesome from there. After she grew in consciousness, she built the defense system here all by herself, so that's it. What? Wow, awesome. And then conspicuous JD did, so I was surprised, really. Eh? Hum. Uh, nothing. JD is inconspicuous? <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? You need to find medicine, do you? Hey, hey. I'm just curious, what is JD usually like? I don't know. What? We're not real friends, I don't know what she does. Well, if I had to say, I think her hair has gotten darker lately. Hair, hair color? Why? I don't know if she's dying it. I don't think that Summer JD will do that, though. I don't think she will dye it more subdued color if she did. Is she dying? Yeah, right. Why then? I don't know, maybe stress or something discolored it. Is it possible? I heard it happens, I don't know, I've never seen it and didn't want to be a doctor. Poor JD, I'll have to ask her out sometime. It's probably much more stressful with you. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. That, that's terrible. JD is not behind the door. I love how everyone is disagreeing on roasting Tomoka. Like, <laughs> like fuck Tomoka. Everyone hates Tomoka. Okay, so there's two of you left. Nero. Speaking of which, oh, what's that stuff animal? It's been looking so precious. I mean, it's clinging to your shoulder. Let's see, this cutie is... <laughs> no, truly me. Oh, well, what? I know, I've known since I was born. I told you that I'm really a cat. What? And so, and so I made myself this. Yeah, it's ugly because it's my first and last piece, but it's going to be with me forever. Eh, wait. Hmm. I'm not sure you mean I'm a... 
I heard you were an art admiring Kessa. Well, you mean it's not that you admire them. You're a psychotic dog. <laughs> What's with everyone just hating on Tomoka? <laughs> I mean... I mean, yeah, I understand like people like being uh, being hating on Tomoka, but like also at the same time, uh, leave Tomoka be, leave, uh, let them be cats. I'm not assuming, I'm really a cat. Then what? You don't think your hand-drawn whisker is a cosplay do? Yeah, I don't have one growing right now, but my whiskers look like this. Oh, Doc, you're probably the most pointless dog I've ever seen in my life. Oh, what? Nara's chatting with Furan. Where does Miss Charlie keep medicine? I'm going around the back and went to the kiosk. I'm <laughs> just a lot going on. Can't figure it out. Oh, what are you doing? Are you here to steal something? Uh, Sabi told me to bring some medicine. I know that one. R really? Yeah, yeah, Miss Charlie told me about it. I think I was... It was in the shelf right behind you, right in the middle of the shelf. Now I got fish the shelf as he was told. I can find it. What? Ooh, interesting. It can be. I'm going over there for a minute. Now I'm inside the kiosk and start fishing through shells. Ah. Yeah. Seriously, it's not there. What? what? Did they just run out of stock? No, I didn't even release the manager by Sophie, so it's impossible like she didn't notice. Someone took it? Uh, oh my dog? Well, what should I do? No, Alice. Why don't you go and report it to Sophie anyway? She might know something. I'll look in various places when I'm free to. Okay. Cool. What's wrong with your expression like that? Okay, sad expression. Oh, well, it's not a big deal. It's just something that's been bothering me. Something that bothered you. You're going to ask my three sizes or something? <laughs> Why are you saying the same thing like Miss Sophie did? I, I don't. If you can tell me, I'd be happy. Cute. Ew, yuck. I'm kidding, really. Actually, it's about Miss Charlie. I was wondering who the hell he is. I see. Well, at least he's not just a guy, that's for sure. He's a former special force guy or mafia executive or sometimes a member of an intelligent agency. What the fuck? Everyone is gossiping about him making a tale and tale as long as he doesn't say anything about it. Ew. Ew, what does Miss Charlie say? The answer is always the same every time, and it's just... Just a wank. <laughs> Are you serious? That's a hard joke, if it were just a thug, he would just make them back off with a single glare. And for some reason, he knows a lot about firearms and the military. He's full of mysteries. Indeed. Like Max says, he's one of those dogs you never want to make enemies with. Why? I don't know why he likes me more and more. Maybe he's just being funny. Maybe. Maybe indeed. So I wonder if Snare would have m had more fun if he was a cat. I was wondering. Oh? Why are you so obsessed with cats? I have no idea by what standard you're treating dogs and cats differently. Because cats are so cute. Ah, uh, gross. You're terrible. That's not so funny, right? Now you're free to think whatever you want about cat the cat race. The way you say it is just gross. <laughs> Your banners have already been rumored in Kimono High for a long time now. Eh, I'm rumored it came on a high. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Someone has a disheveled smile on their face, no. Jeez, you're already a monster if you're happy about that. A monster? Yep, a monster. What is your boyfriend? The one you apparently had with you to think about this? Miles. Hey, did you just step on a landmine? Did I just step on a landmine? Yeah, probably. He probably do. So that's all. Interesting. Hello, Sophie. Um, Sophie. Tamoka. You've brought... No medicine? The, that's a... Uh... Actually, it looks like someone took them all. But what? You're kidding. Ask Nair check, but he said it's not there. Okay. Originally, no, it's condition is stable, so it's not so urgent. In the meantime, can you ask around? I'm sure someone so... Someone take it. Okay. Well, there's no way they could use up the amount of medicine so we can look for them slowly. It's just it will be troublesome if we take them. He? 
There's one guy who can help himself, a junkie. Oh, yeah, the guy back then. If a scary look looking guy is taking drugs, definitely call someone. Gotcha. So I was talking for a while. So, uh, Sora, did you steal the medicine? I know you did. I know you did, Sora. Oh, so Adrian knows something. I guess. Yep, Nero doesn't know anything. So, Adrian. Hey, 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 hey. What's up? Um, I'm having a little trouble right now. Someone took all the asthma meds from the kiosk. Do you know anything about it? Meds? Why would I take that stuff? So he was giving you the thing. I mean, it's supposed to be. Only HD and I think no matter how small. Let's see. Ah. You know something. Oh, I just calmed down. I think there was a guy fishing for something at the kiosk a while back. I think it was a dog. Really? I didn't even see his face, but those ears and tails were definitely dogs. I'm not saying they all are... Why, why, why do you need to say that? But I guess some dogs are meaner than the others. I can't believe he is acting so self-centered even at a time like this. I agree. I'm not going to deal that he bullies Katago. It'll be shame for a witch to be protected by you. Well, why? Hey, just kidding. Well, good luck anyway. I'll go tell you if I found something, anything else. Okay. Okay, what are, what, what are we supposed to do? Okay, now we can talk to you. Nero is still unchattable. Adrian has already been chat, so yeah. You're the only person I can chat with, unless... Nope, V is not. Excuse me. Oh, hi, Damaka. Do you need something for me? From me? Um, I mean, do you know where is the medicine? Medicine? I don't have any medicine, why? Oh, no, no, no. Someone took all of my medicine. Oh, I see, come to think of it, what was all the commotion earlier? Did someone come down with asthma? Y yeah, Noelle is. Noelle is? Surprising, she had asthma. So you know it's in, it's need some medicine? Do you know anything about it? Well, I don't know if it's relative, but I know one thing. Really? Yep. A man with hair color similar to yours walked across the kiosk, mumbling. His pockets were bulging. Well, well, then maybe. I can be sure, but it might be worth asking. Uh, thanks. I'll ask him. Alright, I'll give you one piece of the ice. Be careful with that guy, he's pretty bad. Okay. Uh, okay, interesting. This whole place is broken down this way, that's so funny. Huff, huff. I'm gonna scuttle down the dark aisle. Quick, get now some medicine. At that moment, the back of a man vest comes with a few from ahead. I found. Whoa, wait, wait. Wait, huff, huff, huff. I'll share your medicine with me for a little. The man slowly turns back to Mocha. Eh? Why are you here? Uh, oh, my luck. Oh, that's your dad. I now I notice the resemblance. You're still alive, Tomoka. Uh, uncle? Oh, uncle. I thought you had died with your badass siblings. So what are you doing here, Tomoka's uncle? Are you trying to sell me another flat or huh? No, 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 no. Well, I mean, speak up, you're a pendy ass. Oh, I mean, I wanted to share your medicine with me. What? What shall I share with you? This ain't head medicine. I need it for my friends. Not my problem. It is actually your problem because people in this camp will fucking beat your ass up for stealing the medicines, dude. The one single turn on his heel. P please wait. 
The guy you intentionally gripped their ankle fence. Don't touch you, dirty bastard. Oof. Oh, please, just a little bit. Persistent. Fuck off. What? Am I on crack? Ah. I might hit their head hard when they pu were pushed away. Uh, oh, wait. Medicine. Wow, okay. Hmm. What happened? Uh huh, Noel, you suddenly woke up. Noel? No, you still have to rest. Safi? Uh, am I? You had an asthma attack and you collapsed. I see. I'm sorry for the trouble. Oh, you're going to use life magic now? It's okay, we're both in trouble. Be with the Darren, Charlie, and Max Weir. Oh, you're awake, Noel Chan. Thank goodness, are you, are you in cage, yes and all? Yes, I'm fine now. I didn't know you had scissors. Yeah, I'm embarrassed to say. Swing a witch, where's the mocha? Side to you. Now I look suddenly to side, Tamaka is sleeping. What? Tamaka? No, worry, it's just concussion. Oh no, what in the world? They're looking for medication for you then. They've been unlucky, they've come across this shelter shittiest bomb, apparently. Probably a relative teaching bear her hair color, facial features, and hair color. It's a fandom, I can't believe they are related to that guy. And don't worry, I kick his butt. Oh hell yeah, let's go, oh, Charlie. I see. He's not well like in this shelter. I think he's going to do something bad only half to keep an eye on him for a while. I was saying Tamaga with a sad face. Speaking of which, what did you talk about? Jedi Squad into you guys and Tamaga was depressed. I'll tell you about that. JD? JD? Oh shit fucking. I'll kill him one day one day, hum? Tamaga single hit behind the door as quickly as he could. What was that? What are they talking about? He listened closely. Well, I don't know where to start. Let me start with a simple statement. I was serving him not so long ago. When did you get hit in the head? <laughs> okay, the yeah, yeah, beast reaction. Maybe you should get some rest. Well, I need to re react that way. Wait, wait a minute. Is it real that is it all about? If the history they followed in person doesn't diverge too much between the old world and the present world, then there's no problem. Besides, will it be more interesting to scratch them as hard as we can anyway? That's irresponsible. It sounds like things are really complicated. I am. That's why I'm in Sentinel and the others. Simple put, because they can be the hope to break through the cell or heaven. Especially Sora, who is sleeping now, is tremendous. He's the son of God. And that till literally. Son of God? My head hurts. That sounds kind of romantic. Can he make a miracle or something? Exactly. It's thanks to Sarah's help that we were able to solve the recent big cases. I see, no wonder he was able to live without eating or drinking. So you're saying that to defeat the angel and gods, we're sending out Son of God here too. That sounds like a myth. Of course, not only Sarah, but Noel is an essential person to help us out of this situation. Noel magic is very similar to that of the gods. She's our perfect opponent. Hmm, so it's your seal of approval. Well, if I had some rest, here's what I'd say. To be honest, I don't need to tell you guys, but with the serious shortage we are facing, the more help we have, the better. Not the least we can do is protect our position here, right? That's enough. We just need to get ready before the friction with the loser's shoulders get too bad. We've decided what we're going to do. Charlie and the others started to discuss. I think you have more allies now, don't we? Yeah, now that we are the only ones left, we can really count on each other. I don't mind JD face at least Stephen. Oh, Doc. Did they detect snow magic? L what? I want everyone to listen carefully. Oh, what's wrong? I don't know how, but I'm sure. We've just been invaded by angels. Oh, no.
get it all and then come on here and let it come and deal with it. All of you, let's go. Shoot. I'll go to. No, no, I'll. Oh, okay, combat time. Come on, because Uncle left the place in a hurry. I'll go from the left. Max and Noel Chan, you'll let everyone go from the right. Roger. Let's go, Noel. Okie dokie. <laughs> Everyone's already dying. Damn, they already killed. Noel. Gotcha. Just they're stranding us. Max, please cover me. I'll start running as soon as Mike gets his gun up. Oh, uh, let's try to on ourselves too. Let's go through the head-on. Now force magic wooden cherubs, but the cherubs rush in without care. Oh my! Now try to have it them by creating wind as quickly as you could. Yeah. No, well, damn. Max up on fire on the angels, then just turn toward Max. Do it. Eh. Now slash through the angels with her magic cage wind blades. Oh, are you okay? Huh, yes, I'm fine. Let's move on. Traverse the being chased by angels. Help me! Run it here. Now I'll catch up with him. This track? I'll go. Now I'll turn from side and raise her voice with fi while firing magic bullets. Come on, I'm over here. Then just turn to us if caught by her voice. Now run to the cafe. Th thank you. Now Jen Max under the cafe and from the angel. Oh, okay, that's okay actually. What if she'll... Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't read the dialogue. The angel head extend towards the backup of the survivor. Watch out! Now cuts in just in time, defending herself with her wand. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh. Hey, run where else you can! Anyone else about to get pop? Ouch. Ah! Uh, are you okay? I'm fine. No gen max, okay. Where's the duck has an escape? Don't worry, they have good at first. You better worry about yourself now. It seems so. No, I'm exhausted at Bangles before they knew it. Breakthrough extermination? Get on, I'll clear away. Okay, now I'll shoot the barrage of magic bullets in all directions. That works, I guess. Uh -huh, now we can move on. At the moment, a new layer of angel take from the blind spot. Damn! Uh, I can still fight. Now I'll run out of strength and clubs in place. Now I'll run out of steam. Oh! Okay, no. Special animation, apparently. So, super stack. I'm sorry, but I don't have time. Now the nimble lets the wind and slip to an angel at high speed. You better! Then, as she landed, she turned around and the curly shot the angel in the head with a magic bullet. Cough. Okay. Okay, so distract. We already done this, so let's go. Break through a point. Not such as there is that are thin on the ground in the siege. Look at this. Now I'll point it to the point where the siege was thinning. Oh, that's it. They are in unison and concentrated their fire on the thing area. It collapsed! Run! We get out! Angel is still trying to go after Noel and Max. You guys, I'll give this. Max throw a hand grenade to the angels in the rear. What? What? Suck it up, come on, let's go. No! Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Run, we'll take care of this place. The servers are away without a second thought. Go, you two, hurry! Sorry. Behind you. Avoid to right, avoid to left. Right? Now that should already as quickly as she could. You! Now that's the danger with our whole magic. Thanks. Don't let your guard down anymore. Okay. It's a group. All right, clear, clear it out at once. Two, two minutes, many at once. 
strike down. Ah, not because she angels with a downward storm. What a win. There may be still remnants, so you need to hurry. No, you're just using too much magic. I'm fine. I don't think so, so don't worry about me. Half, half. I guess that's it this time. Half, half. No nails done inv involuntarily. Make support an old body. Don't be reckless, you're a sick man. Thank you. After a while. I think we're done most of the cleanup. I don't save them again. You don't have anything to worry about, Saifi chan. Most of them died instantly. Here they come. Hello, everyone. You say it was unformed scene, but I'm glad the damage was less than I thought. How dare you? Stop, Nail Chan. What do you want? You know what I mean. It's sanction. Angel Tech is the very first since Miss Judy Green arrived. So someone provided me with useful information. Uh huh. Interesting. Hello. You have fallen so far. Shut up, I thought you're the ones who fall. What? what You, what are you talking? No, wait. You, you did it. Oh my god, Uncle Green Nasty. Come on, let's, let's let everyone here hear it. Leave it to me, mister. Those guys are with that witch cat or jetty or whatever. They're the source of the attacks. What? What are you saying? That's right. You're so full of accusations. I've heard it. Jedi Green is a seraphim and that a kid lying there is a son of God. The moment they hear this, the server begins to buzz. I, I, I would have just guessed like this person is crazy, you know? You, you eavesdropped. And Angel found out because that Papillon kid was using magic all over the place. Never stares pierced no how. That's why. From now on, I will approach the treasure. Seize them. The soldier will seize Noel and the others on the floor. Hey, where are you touching? Wait, he has nothing to do with this. Oh. Fuck, get off me. Oh my dog. Ready. Wait, what? Now, Noel Arenberg, do you have anything left to say? How do you know your name? Nothing in particular. Now then. Wait. I love how JD just zooms in with the wheelchair and drip out of crowd. That's amazing. JD? You have come to interrupt me. Now I'm here to make a better offer. Execute me. How is that a better offer? You're the practitioner of this place. I guess I didn't wrong me. Did about deeply. Please let me do be the only one executed. I didn't stop Nile for using magic and I'm the one who allowed them to be here. I take full responsibility for everything. Uh, what are you talking about? What kind of logic is that? You've already been writing us all along. If we are gone, who's going to keep the angels from invading? My princess is no longer going to save you. Besides, you just want to use this as an excuse to execute me, don't you? Well, I don't know. Hey, I want you to let them go as soon as possible. Fine. The winner urges man. Why, why is the soldier picking fight with JD again? Now do you have anything to say? Uh, that's very kind of you, isn't it? Then I'll take your word for it. No, I'll. I'm sorry I got you into this mess. Oh no, it's not your fault, JD. Why, why, why should he listen to you, JD? What, what is happening here? It is right to leave it to you guys. And you'll definitely need that one. Keep it safe. Jedi haven't learned anything from you, you yet. If you're gone now, what are we going to do? Sorry about that. It doesn't seem to be possible for me to chew directly from my own, my own mouth. I have left you what I have to leave behind. Please find out. The pistol hammer is lowered. Oops, is it time? I think it's enough. I see. Well, excuse me, for I'll go on ahead. Demon bless you, sight.
JD. Oof, the big hunty. What? Okay, this chapter is just confusing. Hello. This chapter is just. Ah, oh, so that's JD in the background. This chapter is just a little bit confusing, I guess, because like, what the fuck is happening here? Like, uh, Noel having power and all of that, like. Where's JD picking fight with the- What is the soldier hit JD? Why does JD have a beef with the soldier? It's not explained. Uh, what else? Like, so, uh, there's a lot of stuff, like, just a little bit confusing in this chapter, but I guess that's just the usual perfect apocalypse. If, sorry, it's a little bit confusing. Uh, either way, yeah. I don't have much to say about this chapter, honestly. It's just nice to see Noel and Tomoka actually get some character spotlight because they're usually in the background in the whole series after all after that i you know what i'm kind of i kind of like the introduction of character like M miss charlie sophie uh max not so much i guess uh let's see iris iris is nice and other than that nothing else so i guess it's all for perfect apocalypse eve and perfect for topia chapter 4 i hope you enjoy it see you later then in the next chapter or maybe in the in my next, maybe my other video. Bye bye.